Hello, I want to talk about um, a problem I had with one of my motherboards. Now, I'm into hackintoshing a lot, and I started hackintoshing with an Asus motherboard, which was a huh? P8Z77M Pro. It's an MATX motherboard. Um, despite being an MATX motherboard, it's fully featured. It's got a lot of bits and bits on there that uh, most ATX motherboards uh, might not have. But going back to the problem, uh, I flashed the BIOS on that motherboard hundreds of times, like a lot of times, and it had a really good feature. It had a flash flashback feature where you can download a BIOS um, that's been edited or patched and you put in a USB and you plug it in the back of the motherboard and then you press a button that's on the motherboard flashback button and it will flash the BIOS without verification um, now I did that a lot of times and I never had a problem until one day I thought why don't I give the Windows option a go uh, where I downloaded the utility from the Asus website and during the flashing um, something went wrong and I don't know what what happened exactly. I couldn't flash the BIOS. I could flash the BIOS, but it wouldn't make any difference. Um, it would, my system would only show eight gigs of RAM when I had twelve point something gigs of RAM. Um, I couldn't go into the option of uh, changing settings for my graphics card because there was no option on the BIOS to do that. It wouldn't. There was no option to choose between your integrated graphics or your graphics card. Um, so there was something really wrong there, so, and I was really upset. But then I took out my older motherboard, which was a Gigabyte Z68 uh, motherboard, and I used that for a while until um, that stuffed up on me. I don't know how. I, was, I wasn't flashing it at the time. I it just stopped working. Um, it was the older motherboard. Anyway, uh, so I went and bought another motherboard. It was only about... 80 odd dollars is really cheap. It was an MSI. It looked very nice. Um, uh, something about military grade, something blah blah. Anyway, um, and I realised that wasn't very Hackintosh friendly and it was actually giving me some problems as well. Uh, so I took it back to the place where I bought it from and they just swapped over for a Asus. P8Z77VLK motherboard. Now with that motherboard, I think these these are refurbished motherboards. Um, it's a Z77 chip motherboard, but I don't know why I had to actually physically get the cap. There's a little cap on the motherboards when you want to reset the BIOS, uh, the, the CMOS on the actual motherboard. Um, the clear CMOS button, I would press it. The computer would restart. The BIOS would come up and ask me to make the changes, whatever changes I want to make. Um, but still, the CMOS wouldn't clear properly, I don't think, because I, I couldn't boot into my Hackintosh. doesn't matter what settings I changed, what I did, even in uh, safe mode, it didn't, wouldn't make a difference until I actually got that cap out. There's three pins on the motherboard where the cap is on the left and the middle pin. And what you do is you take it out and then you put it into the right and the middle pin and then you switch on your uh, PC from the front and then you turn the power off and you take it out and you put it back into the left and the middle pin and you put the power back on and start and that would reset your everything um, and that was the only way I could boot and I got sick and tired of having to always do that a lot and while I was wondering what to do I sort of thought about maybe taking the chip off and s switching it over you know, both motherboards being Z77 and both being Asus. And I did that and it actually worked. And that's this is the chip here. Uh, that's a Z77 chip. Okay, my hands are probably shaking a lot. So, bear with me. Oops. You probably can't see. Anyway, I looked on eBay... And you can get it for about, I think, $16 or $20 with free delivery. And um, if you have a Z77 motherboard, um, don't go buy another motherboard. Just 
you, you, like, if you have a corrupt BIOS and for some reason it doesn't start anymore or or your options are missing or it's always acting up usually a BIOS chip change would actually fix most of that most of that and um, it did for me um, I changed the chips over and then I use the flashback feature to um, uh, flash the BIOS and my rig's working perfectly um, the Hackintosh is very stable and good all my USB ports are working um, and yeah so just eBay it and you'll see these little chips and they're not very hard I, I use these plies you know you just plug it out put some back in and there you go it's all fixed I hope uh, this topic was relevant to you and that you enjoyed it if you have any questions just ask on the bottom and I'll be more than happy to answer them Bye.